One of the newsmakers of the moment is Armenian opposition leader Nikol Pashinyan, who at the head of a people power movement has forced the resignation of the former president and prime minister and looks likely to topple the government. Euronews' Apostolos Stakos has been able to get one of the first interviews with him. It seems that this is the end of this political battle and you are the winner. How do you feel? You know, I think uh, the winner is for people, people of Armenia, that uh, supported uh, our idea that we need um, changes and we need new, new government in Armenia. What will you do in order to get the support of the Republican Party? I think it is, it is um, uh, the question in the agenda of the Republican Party because I think they should, uh, um, they should uh, assess um, the situation, political situation in Armenia and make uh, make from from that analysis right uh, conclusions. Now let's say that on Wednesday morning you are the new Prime Minister of Armenia. I would like to know your first actions, your priorities. My priority, uh, my first priority is prepare, uh, preparation of the really free, really lawful and really democratic elections, early elections in Armenia. When? Uh, when? when? You know, uh, uh, we think that we should do that as soon as possible, but uh, no, we also understand that uh, we should reach a kind of consensus with the other political parties um, uh, on uh, the term, uh, on the time when this uh, election should happen. Okay, what if the Republican Party says, no, we're not going to support you because we don't believe in you? Um, what are you going to do? I think uh, our people uh, wouldn't accept any other solution, uh, but uh, they want to see their candidate as a prime minister of Armenia, and this goal should be fulfilled.